Welcome everyone. So in this tutorial, we are going to see um, uh, talk about uh, the quite important things that we should know while you are working on web methods. <clears throat> so on the screen, you can see there are four links that have been presented, and I would like to I would like to uh, make a point here that make sure that you bookmark these links as these four links are the one that's uh, gonna come with you along your uh, web methods career. So, um, all right, so just let's open the uh, first link, the tech community uh, So I'm just going to open this link. And um, as the name itself suggests, it's, uh, it's for community forum. I mean, like, wh what do you mean by community? So it's a group of people. Um, that's that word means it's a group of people. Um, uh, trying to talk more about the uh, technical aspects of a particular product and techcommunity.softwareg.com as the name itself suggests it's a community of technical audience uh, where uh, they address all your queries or post the queries um, to get an answer for the problems that you have so uh, while in your career if you are facing some difficulties um, uh, in uh, in your in your uh, uh, skill sets uh, uh, de uh, developing any solutions this tech forum community is a place where you can post the qu uh, queries and uh, definitely there are people out there who can who will reply to your questions it's just like your stack overflow right something like that so you need to create an account um, so I'm just gonna log in I've already created the account for myself um, right in case if you don't have an account you can just click on the create account and create an account for yourself so just let me try to log in um, right oops I think the password is incorrect just let me all right there you go so I've already created an account for myself so um, creation of account is a self-explanatory so that's that's something I'm not going to cover on this so as you can see here um, this is the front panel screen of the tech forum community now you can create a new topic uh, <coughs> by uh, create by providing the subject of your question uh, subject of your query so that's your subject I would just say um, just making it up integration server integration server not coming up not coming up right something like that and I'll say it's 10.7 web methods 10.7 and as you can see here it's all there are already topics similar topics that other users have posted you can just click on that link and see if one of the topics provided gives you a solution if not you can just continue further I, I'll just give the detailed description I'll just give a detailed description here detailed description right and uh, once that's completed I'm gonna select the tags for the relevant topic. So I would say it's a web integration and DSB. And uh, I would say it's a free trial account I'm working on. And um, I'm gonna search something over here. Um, what else do we think it's better tags? Um, then if, if you don't find anything similar, I will just type it over here itself. Um, integration server, <coughs> integration server comma, is comma 10.7 something like that so yeah so once all these activities have been completed you can create the topic as you can see here you can just create the topic so just just let's recap what we have understood create a subject create a detailed description select the tags if not add the tags then you create the topic if you find anything something similar for your queries you can just find it over here as well right so that's how you create a create a query and um, yeah so that's that's how anyone would try to um, address your problem now just let me cancel this out I just said discard right so you can you can also search uh, I'm clicking on the search and I'll say here itself integration server integration server okay there should be as you can see there are search queries that will help you to address this as well 
So yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing much that we need to address over here. Uh, that's about tech tech forum community. Why why it's very important. So this is this is just as good as your Stack Overflow. Now, once this is completed, the next um, the next link that I would like to talk about is documentation. Right. So I would, would like to talk about documentation. <coughs> so just click on navigate to this link and uh, yeah, just let it sum up now there you go so I'll just say click on this okay now since you're working on 10.7 of web methods I'm gonna select web methods over here and the version is 10.7 and as you can see there are set of components associated with I'll just make it as 16 okay so as you can see there are multiple components associated with the web methods product suite um, <coughs> and I could not stress the importance of the documentation in the web methods world right in the web methods world um, the components that are associated while you're working with are so tightly integrated and even the slightest configurations that you miss can can take days to figure out right to what what's the issue now and since there are so many components there is always been a problem to figure out the actual solution for the for any of the issues that we are identifying right now uh, by getting identified in between the uh, working so there's always been a difficulty for anyone who is working on the web methods uh, uh, area to find the relevant solution for the any problem that gets associated during your uh, um, tenure and it's not about the logic it's about the configuration that's the difficult part in web methods it's always been the configuration uh, that causes some major drawback to figure out what's exactly what is exactly we need to look at it so in order the, the first place that I would always go in a web methods career is that I would I would definitely post a query in the tech forum community and stack overflow and then I would also read the documentations to it right documentation plays a huge role in web methods because of the limited resources we have in terms of learning curvature uh, documentation plays a huge role so I would like all of you guys to download the documents and organize them right organization organizing is is really important I'm just gonna show that to you guys what I mean um, just let me um just let me navigate to right so if you can see here i have downloaded all the documents and i've organized like this right so you need to organize in this fashion so that at any point of time if you believe that you need to uh you believe that you want to read something i'll just say if you want to read on trading network i will uh, or let me go for calf if you want to read anything on calf i'll just I can drop over here <coughs> and I'll read on CAF right so you need to download the documents and organize it in a right way and to do that so I'll just say open this and I'll say I'll go for the view PDF that's the right way of doing it right so and download all the documents that's that's provided by software AG. as again since it's open it's open for everyone I think everyone can download and read the documentations with it right so so download the documents and keep it organized so that at any point of time if you believe that it's important it will help you out right so that's the second link which is the documentation and the third link that I would like to talk about is the knowledge.softwareag.com um, let me see if I have an account over there as well right so again you need to create an account in case if you don't have one creation of account is self-explanatory I think I'm not going to talk about that so just let me try to log in and the <coughs> learning portal as again the name itself suggests it's a learning portal software AG provides you certain videos or tutorials that will help you to uh, navigate within certain parts or, or the certain components within the web methods or any products of the software AG families and uh, gives you certain uh, tutorials about it as you can see I've registered myself to 
web methods integration essential so you can just click on one of them and uh, uh, go through the tutorial and there is also as you can see on the left panel of the screen you can see the upcoming events if you can see the upcoming trainings and f majority of the trainings are are paid but there are trainings which are kind of freely available um, so just let me show what what it means and I'll just say okay let's take this integration platform workshop now if you just click on this link um, as you can see it's it's all paid version as you can see it's all it's all paid version right so um, yeah so there are certain certain um, uh, trainings which are freely available you need to kind of do a self check here uh, play around with the platform and see if you can find something or or the uh, tool to get a free course right so yeah that's that's about the web methods um, knowledge.softwareg.com and the final link that I would like to talk about is the empire so just let me open this link and uh, as you can see you need to request an account and the account will be created only if you are working on a uh, organization your gmail or yahoo would not be suitable enough for to create an account and the reason why we want this account is because during your career you want to talk to the software ag team um, and for that you can raise an incident to software ag to help or support to you and that's how you do with e services and there is much more as well within within this e service where i since i don't have an account I cannot log in or show you to you guys so and you can contact the support there are many many aspects of it right so um, you, if you're working on a organization uh, the organization will help you to create an account and uh, so that you can log an incident um, and look more than what you get in the community forum as well right so that's about the uh, empower.softwareag.com um, yeah I think that's the four most important link and the rest of the links I think you guys would already be aware of it like uh, stack overflow right so that's something that uh, we are all good at and there are uh, basic uh, tutorials like you have w3 schools or tutorials point to work or to learn more on the computer science programming aspects that's something we're not going to discuss about it but in terms of web methods these are the four important links which is quite important right so yeah that's about it guys and uh, in the next tutorial we're going to see how to download web methods right so yeah we'll see you soon then thank you